Hey everybody, this is Joel of Blade Vault here on YouTube, and actually I just wanted to uh, do a quick introduction um, to this video, which will be my first official video of my channel. Just kind of trying to give it back to the rollerbladers in a sense that we really don't have much nowadays. Um, mainly, I just started skating after, you know, not skating for about eight years. And uh, I started skating in around 2000, 2001, and I was with that, you know, resurgence at that point in time. <laughs> Um, and getting back in the game, I realized that even when I got out of it, I really was falling behind on the product knowledge. Um, and that's actually something that I wanted to attack with you guys today. Um, one of my main focuses of the day right now is, is going to be Rosie's new fifth element skate. <laughs> Coming from somebody that has been in, you know, skating for as long as I have, uh, this is a very cool looking skate. Um, I'm seeing a bunch of different shadows. Um, starting it off, you know, the the most obvious is uh, kind of that cootie fifth element shape uh, that we're used to from way back in the day. Um, but then again, bringing that new Rosie's Valo Soul into the mix right here. And I just, I really, really love that. And actually, I saw a prototype picture of these, and it had this sole on it right here, which is the Valo sole two-piece. And uh, I, I guess at that point in time, I thought it was just um, a mock-up, someone just kind of creating something. And now that these both are sitting here, I just love them. I love the green of these, the white of these. Actually, this is my uh, street setup right here and I'm riding a 68 millimeter red eye wheel. I have a, some right here. Um, one of the best wheels I think I've ever ridden on street. And 68 millimeters, you just really, you know, any anything rough, um, your friends are kind of slipping out and having a, a hard time, you're just gonna be rolling right through. And actually I've had instances like that at a DIY park lately. Uh, Everybody was kind of just really having trouble with the run-up and luckily I wasn't having trouble with the run-up I was having trouble with the fact that I hadn't skated in eight years, but uh, you know, so we kind of just uh, Evened out there, but uh, again, it was easier to not have to worry about tripping over myself and falling down um, This is my park setup right here in the uh, Fuka green fifth element uh, the Utos uh, they're they're a great skate. I'm actually using uh, Nils Jansen's uh, ground control frames right there. And actually I'm using a 60 millimeter 50-50 uh, wheel. Um, now this, for any old rollerbladers out there, um, this is me really, sorry to use the phrase, chasing the dragon on Brian Shima's 4x4 wheels back in the day. I think that like I improved my skating tenfold. Uh, when everybody was using like a mid-50s range wheel, he came out with a 60 millimeter wheel. And I even remember my friends looking at the wheels and just being like, those are way too big. But being such a park rat, um, way more than I'm actually even now, I love that that uh, that smooth ride. And uh, that just, I, I felt like I just could jump more. I had more boost. I had more flow. Um, for big ramps too, I grew up at like a BMX park too. So a lot of the features and other things like that are rough um, and instead of complaining about it the 60 millimeters made it that much better now still you know hanging out around my BMX friends again the 68 millimeters when it comes to street spots it's like night and day now um, and that's actually something I wanted to get into that I kind of threw out there earlier earlier on right when I started talking when I skated before I really didn't care about features and specs and, and what I wanted to see in a skate. Um, I rarely even knew that I, I wore a 40 in, in a skate size, you know, so I, I would see uh, European skate sizes and other things like that and I wouldn't get the skate or, or um, you know, even with some of the rollerblade brands, they have women's sizing in the same exact skates. I would see a women's skate and just be like, that's a women's skate. Really, I I, uh, I guess I never really got into the specific uh, aspects of 
you know, what the equipment I was using. Um, and in other sports, whether, you know, it was hockey or uh, snowboarding or other, you know, other things like that, I would be very specific. But actually, one of my most important sports to me, I wasn't at all. And honestly, my park skates would ride a lot like my street skates do now. You can't even spin them. I, I like blew out the bearings already. Um, gray bearings, though. Celtic bearings and those. Um, I, I did everything I needed to do to make those not roll and uh, they're still great. They're still rolling perfect for street. Um, so all in all, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, my attention to detail and everything that I've been doing now getting back in the game because I have more time on my hands has just really kind of helped me out in skating and made my skating even that much better um, in a fun sense, you know, because I'm not really trying to be anything, anywhere, or anybody. Um, I'm just trying to have fun. Um, so uh, really kind of getting back into the game, kind of coming full circle, um, I do see, like I said, a couple shadows here. Most importantly, the Valo shadow. And this is a skate that I never tried when I skated before. I had friends that had Valo skates or Rossi skates. And uh, because I wear like that size six, seven shell, I'm a small guy. No one was really in that size range. So whenever I put someone else's skate on with that memory buckle on it, I would put it on and it would feel like I was just like in a box, like a cardboard box around my foot. And I would just actually look at some of the skating that people would do, even Alex Brasco, and I would just be like, how is he doing that on those skates? I've actually at points thought to myself, if he skated for a different skate company, he would be better. I was completely wrong. Um, from the first day that I actually put these on my feet and rolled down my street, I had a renaissance of skating. I went from just buying these so I would have a pair of skates if someone ever called me to really skating every day, making edits, making a YouTube channel. I can owe it to this skate, as funny as that sounds. So I'm going to throw in a couple of clips of me using these skates. You might have seen it in some other edits if you're watching any other videos on my channel. Probably not. Um, but really, uh, this is just a, all around a great skate. Um, you get a forward flex that at first you're like, oh my goodness, how I can't skate like that. But then you, you style completely changes and you start skating with that forward flex and the size of the sole on these skates is huge. I mean, I skate like a six, seven, like I said, and that, that large of a sole plate Great for coping, ledges, everything else like that. And I guess I like keeping now a, uh, a street skate and a park skate because I'm older. I like to just be more comfortable. If I'm skating coping, I don't want to have any less lock on because I was skating a really rough ledge the night before. Um, other things like that. Uh, I, I'm more or less, instead of just trying new product, just trying to get uh, really comfortable with something here, and I think I found it. Um, so really, I just wanted to give a shout out to a couple of different um, people and companies in, in my life right now. I grew up with Stefan Brando, if anybody knows who he is. He got me rolling the 50-50 the wheels. Um, he was telling me, you know, don't go with the 88A. I am totally there with you. I am the 90A or 92A. I feel like I'm wasting money if I'm not riding anything, you know, as hard as this or harder. Um, for the park, though, still with that old vibe with the with the 88A, I'm loving it. So shout out to Stefan Brando and 5050 Wheels and Frames. Rosie Skates, thank you for giving me um, kind of a rejuvenation in my skating and just trying to, you know, um, make something different happen in my life as, as I get older. Um, stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. Like this video if you like it. Um, I'm just another rollerblader just like you guys. I'm nobody special. Um, so if you're anything like me, too, you'll really enjoy my edits because it's not, you know, a crazy skill set. It's something that you guys can probably really... Um, see yourself in and uh, relate to. So uh, again, like, subscribe. This is Blade Vault. I'm Joel Gardner, right out of New York. Thank you for watching this and have a great day.